Okay, I want to talk a little bit about floating grounds. And this is to do with the 120 volt circuit in the US where you use one hot and a neutral. So the hot lead carries power and it comes back to the pole transformer on the, new, on the neutral line, which is a center tap. It's a center tap on the transformer. There's two hots out there and one neutral. Your circuit is complete with that. There's nothing else necessary for the circuit to operate. We add an earth ground to that at the main panel. And the neutral and the earth ground are connected together at that panel, only at that panel. The ground, what is the ground for? You know, I'll reference a couple other videos I have on this that might help. Ground is a sink. It's a place where you put things that you don't want. And lightning goes there, uh, spikes in the line. You know, every time you fire up one of these tools or something like that, there's there's uh, back EMF coming out of these things, and there's little spikes, and there's all sorts of crazy things going on there. Well, that earth ground absorbs that. And that's primarily what it's for. A lot of people think earth ground is to protect you from being shocked. It really is not. It doesn't do any good there. Uh, the, there is a safety ground, the third prong on the 120 volt plug, but it's not really going to ground. It's going back to neutral in the panel. And so if well, here, I've got a tool sitting right here. Okay, this is a metallic tool. Uh, it does have some plastic parts on it, but the motor inside the tool is partially encased in this aluminum. So, I have a three-pronged plug. This one here is for the ground. If the chassis of this thing became hot, there was a short inside and a winding shorted to the chassis, then this would become hot. It would travel back to the main panel and it would co connect with the neutral in that main panel and it would throw the circuit protection off. That's what that ground does. It's a safety ground that you don't need for the circuit, but is there for safety. Now this one has a two-pronged plug. Now, this one's old enough that it doesn't have the wide and the skinny one. The wide one's for neutral, the skinny one's for hot. Uh, now they're all have, they all have to have the wide and the skinny one. Uh, but this tool, because it's entirely plastic, is called double insulated. In fact, it's, it says uh, double insulated on it. So you're not going to get shocked from this tool. I wouldn't want to say never, but, you know, never say never. So that's a double insulated tool. But because it doesn't have a ground, it's only got a hot and a neutral, this would be a floating ground. It's not connected to anything. A floating ground is not connected to uh, the ground. There's only the hot and the neutral. Now, other things that have uh, floating ground. A lot of these things for uh, computers and all sorts of little odd things, uh, battery chargers for phones and all this stuff, they only have two prongs too. And that's because they want to work with a floating ground. They don't want the ground in there. They would rather it was not there. This thing is completely isolated from the output here. There is no direct electrical connection between here and here. It's a transformer. It, uh, it could be a switching controller. All sorts of things. This actually has less interference in it without using the ground because the ground can bring interferences in. So this is a floating ground. That's really all it is. Floating grounds means no ground at all.
Here's another one, kind of the same thing. It's just a little transformer. Uh, puts out DC. Uh, just the two prongs. That's it. There's nothing else to it. This is also a floating ground. So if somebody says something about a floating ground, it's not rocket science. It's just an isolated tool or an isolated product or something like that that does not use a ground and doesn't really need a safety ground. Now, if you go buy a Mac computer, they are grounded. The Mac computer has a ground on it. Some of the, some of the others do too. But uh, That computer has a metal casing. It's an aluminum case. And so it'll use a safety ground in case something's shorted to the chassis. I hope this makes sense to you. Uh, it's not rocket science trying to figure this out. But it's one of the things that's out there that people have questions on a lot of times and wonder what the heck that silly thing is. Floating ground means no ground at all. Just a hot and a neutral. If I've given you more questions than answers, uh, I will reference a playlist where I have a bunch of videos on the electrical system in the U.S. Anyway, that's all for this one.